Very pleased to announce the initial Neo Geo support in Scorpion Engine for both the Neo Geo MVS slash AES as well as the Neo Geo CD. Um, so it's currently just in uh, 2020 4.1 experimental. So I'll put the link for this in the description. You can download the zip from here, or if you're comfortable using Git, you could um, you could pull the repository, and then every time there's an update, it's just one click to get the latest version of everything. So in the uh, Scorpion interface itself, I've opened up the Gothic Vania demo, which is based on the Art and Asset Pack by Ansimus. Um, under Platform, we now have Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD. And yeah, I have noted that this is a pre-release alpha. It's not real hardware tested yet because I do not have the actual hardware to test with yet. That is something I'm working on and I'll talk a little bit more about later. Uh, for the base Neo Geo platform, our emulator option is main. So let's just get it up and running. Okay, so uh, it's the core Scorpion engine is all there, it's all running. Uh, there's a lot of um, Neo Geo tricks that are not implemented yet. For example, there's no sort of like scaling or zooming. Um, sound effects are in there, music is not yet, and I'll go into a bit more context about that a bit later on. Uh, but yeah, so right now, if you want to mess around with making a Neo Geo game, even though it doesn't have everything supported yet, uh, more and more features are going to come over time. Uh, so before I go into Neo Geo CD stuff, I'm just going to open the output folder and the Neo Geo. So what it compiles is a uh, I mean, it compiles the raw ROM files. A Neo Geo.xml, that is a file that just contains the information that will need to be added to the MAME Neo Geo configuration to run it through MAME. Um, but the, the configuration get file gets merged automatically when you run it in the, uh, run it with open from MAME. So if you're just testing, um, you know, testing locally, it's just all one click. Uh, the setup of the Neo Geo CD is a little bit different. So instead of MAME, we're using an emulator called RAIN. Um, RAIN does require a little bit of setup, so I'm just going to uh, go here and just mention that uh, you need the, well, from the site, so I'll put this in the uh, YouTube description as well, but you need the binary, you need the DLLs. And you also need to find yourself a copy of the Neo Geo CD BIOS. So that is not something we can provide. It's up to you to um, uh, find it and um, use it. So again, when it's all set up, this should be just one click. Uh, click open with rain, and then it will open the emulator, and then you can go play game. And again, there's uh, there's a lot of fe features of the Neo Geo CD hardware that aren't supported yet. So there was the previously um, mentioned uh, scaling features not there, but also there's no ability to play back CD music yet. That's something I hope to work on uh, sometime in the next couple of months. Uh, also, there's no ability yet to swap out your... Uh, files so whatever gets loaded at the start of the game is uh, remains in memory you would have to like if you were to start on the game right now you would have to fit everything into the initial load 
But again, hopefully in the next few months, I'll have the ability to make it so that you can have large CD games and then switch files as needed. Uh, and the output files for the Neo Geo CD are a bit different to the uh, MVS output, of course. So um, you've got the copyright files, you've also got the IPL, uh, and then you've got um, the ROM files. They're very similar to the main ones for the most part. Um, <clears throat> there is currently no export to like bin slash q and there's no export to the main chd file just yet uh, again that's something i'm looking to be adding but right now if you make a neo geo cd game and you want to put it on an actual neo geo cd you should be able to just take these files and then burn them to cd the uh, traditional way Okay, so that's um, that's about it with the um, getting the Neo Geo uh, emulators to run with the uh, Gothicvania demo. Uh, the Gothicvania demo is based on the Gothicvania Cemetery art pack by Ansamus, um, which is uh, he's a very cool artist. Um, definitely do uh, check out his stuff. Um, the sound driver for the Neo Geo that I'm using is this uh, Mesostate driver. This is a very cool driver. I'm not using it um, fully yet. I'm only using sound effects. It does have ability to use uh, Devil Mask songs, which I'm not doing just yet. Um, but again, if, if you're making a Neo Geo game and you're not, you know, not interested in using Scorpion, I do suggest checking out the sound driver. It might um, might save you a lot of time. Um, oh, I've already gone over rain, but yeah, rain is a very cool emulator that uh, you need for the uh, CD emulation. Um, I did want to shout out to Chibi Akumas, who um, his well, their site with uh, all of the um, assembly demos for getting started with um, a development on the Neo Geo and other platforms. It's been a major, major help with this project. Uh, also, uh, same with the um, Neo Geo Wiki. This has been really, really helpful with working out how one system is different to another and um, you know, the various nuances with, um, for example, the graphics formats. Um, <clears throat> and uh, also, just to close up, um, there's a few a few other things I just wanted to cover. One is, please do consider supporting me on a Patreon. Um, uh, the Patreon supporters have been a really, really big help with um, you know me, me being able to justify uh, all of the time that I put into the Scorpion engine, um, and every every bit of support is appreciated. Um, also, want to shout out to Bitbeam Cannon, who have been major sponsors for the Neo Geo uh, project. Um, or in fact, they've been major supporters for Scorpion in general for uh, many years. And just one last thing is we do have a Discord. I'm a little bit nervous about putting this link in plain text where bots could find it, so. I'm just going to put it right here in the video. Uh, hopefully that's readable. Um, but this is an invite to the Pixel Blast server, which is the home of the Scorpion engine on uh, Discord. So uh, if you'd like to join us and uh, you know, hang out, um, you know, uh, if you've got bug reports or if you want to ask for help on how you do this or that, um, or if you want to share progress and projects, please do join us. And yeah, that's um, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do like, subscribe, uh, comment, and uh, share this video to um, uh, get the word out.